Hello beautiful people from the internet, it is Connie over here, if you've never been here, hello, my name is Connie and I love cigarettes, amongst other things, and so today is a very exciting day in my life, because I'm going to be trying smoking pipe for the first time, which I'm so excited to do, because this is something that I've been wanting to try for such a long time now, and I've just haven't been able to find the right time, and then eventually I figured out there's no right time and I might as well just do it now. So the other day I went to a store, tobacco shop, and I talked with the owner. He was super, super nice. And I told him, you know, I'm a beginner. I smoke cigarettes. I have smoked cigarillos. And I really want to get into pipe smoking. And I don't know what to get. I don't know what I need. So please recommend me like a beginner pipe, beginner pipe tobacco and all of the things that I could need. And so... I ended up getting this raw pipe, which I know a lot of you guys are going to be like, but raw is a brand for the herbs, you know? Yeah, I told him the same thing and he was like, yeah, but this is a good pipe. And so it came in a little bag. I already opened it, of course, because I was just so curious and ta-da! Look at it. I mean, how beautiful is this pipe? I think it looks absolutely gorgeous. It says raw and I'm just super excited to try it. I've been watching some tutorials and if I am able to manage smoking this pipe correctly it's because of girly tragedy on YouTube. I'm saying right now, you guys need to go check out her channel because she got me into pipe smoking. You know, because of her, I really want to try it. And because I was so curious about pipe smoking, he even gifted me these, which he called a temper tool, which has a bunch of different things that you need, you know, when you are smoking your pipe I think this is the one that I'm gonna be using the most which is used to tamp down the, the tobacco in the pipe and he offered me this tool and he was like this is a gift because you are so interested and then you need to come back to the store and tell me what you thought about it and I was like hell yeah I'll do that of course I'll do that I was super excited I asked him what is a beginner tobacco that I could get that is just going to be super easy to smoke not too strong you know and he recommended me this tobacco um, I have no clue how to say this, but you can check it yourself. And yeah, he told me to put it in a jar, and so I did. It is already in a jar. It's very cute, actually. I made it like go with the with the color theme. Um, this is cherry scented, cherry flavored pipe tobacco, and it smells so nice. I can never open this thing, by the way. Like, oh, it's so difficult. Oh, it just smells so much like cherries and I'm extremely excited to try but guys please I need you guys to give me a break I've never tried this in my life I'm trying it first time with you and so I'm gonna do things as best as I can but I cannot tell you it's going to be exactly correct and so anyway so I have my pipe and I know that the first thing that I need to do is fill it up with the good good tobacco and so that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing and so from Girly Tragedy on YouTube, I learned kind of a good way to fill up the tobacco, which is the pipe, I mean, which is like to put a little tobacco in there. Now a lot is fallen. And then, then she says, I need to use, actually, I'm going to put a little bit more. I'm already, I'm already a little bit confused, as you can tell. And then she says, you need to be super gentle with the temper tool and just do it like very slightly, just push it down super slightly. I love the way she describes things. You guys go watch her video. I'm going to link it in the description. It's because of her that I'm trying this and it's probably because of her that I'm going to be able to try it and actually succeed doing it. Now I'm going to put my second part of tobacco in there. I don't know if I'm already doing too much. And now she says I need to apply a little bit more strength. So, oh my God, this is actually looking pretty nice. I mean, you tell me, I have no clue. I think it looks pretty nice. Oh, and it smells so much like cherries, like, oh my god. And now, I'm gonna do the last bit of tobacco, like this. Stick it all in there, and now this is where you apply, like, some actual strength, you know? She says you still need to have bounce, but you kind of, like, push it down. I don't know, I feel like I didn't put enough, because the pipes that I see online, they are filled to the top. So I'm going to fill it a little bit more and like tamp it down. I really hope I'm doing this correctly. All I want is for it to light and me to be able to get like a couple hits. Now, I'm going to close my jar so that, you know, I don't dry out the tobacco immediately. 
and now I think I'm gonna tamp it down a little bit more because it's, it still feels a little bit loose so I'm tamping it down I'm sorry it doesn't focus it be what it be all right and now I'm gonna try to light it all right I know that there's two types of light there's your first light which is the false light I think just to get some ashes going I don't really know and then there's your second light which is the true light which is when you actually will start smoking the pipe I'm go I'm very confused but I'm trying my best let's go oh wow the flavor is insane now how do I know if this is working this is the part that confuses me like after she lit it up the first time she tempted she tempted it down is that the way you say that in the past once more and then she lit it up again oh I see it I think that now there's gonna be some ashes going in there some embers in this case oh I see it it's burning can you see it guys look at that oh my hand is shaking and it's not focusing I don't know how slow or fast you need to smoke your pipe or you should smoke your pipe wow oh, this is a very 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 nice taste I have never tasted anything like this I'm not sure if it's burning correctly or if I should let it burn a little bit with, with before I start actually smoking it I don't know but I think I'm just gonna keep relighting it if it doesn't light properly which I don't think it did because every time I light it like it goes and it keeps going but then I stop hitting it and it goes out I don't know if I'm doing something wrong because I see that people when they smoke pipe they are not constantly lighting it so I'm thinking that maybe I just don't have enough oxygen in here and so I'm going to make some holes I don't know if I'm doing this correctly but the flavor that I was already able to get was so nice it was ah oh, it was just exactly what tobacco and cherry would taste like if they were together and that was nice It's really good and I really feel like inhaling it, but I know you are not supposed to inhale pipe. I just don't know, I feel like I'm gonna have to keep relighting it and I don't think that's the way it should go. Maybe I need to let it burn a little bit because I see that there's some embers inside. And maybe I'm just putting out the embers because I'm inhaling so much. I really don't know. I don't know if I've already done my false light or my true light, but I mean, it is smoking a little bit. I don't even know if you can see it. So I'm just hoping that these embers don't go out so that I can keep smoking it. So I don't know, it feels like they are going out already. Yeah, see that? I, mean, I have to keep relighting it and I'm not sure like what I'm doing wrong. I really don't know. Is it not enough like tightly packed? I'm very confused. But you know what? I'm trying my best here. I mean, if I keep lighting it, it's super, pre it's super pleasant. Oh, I really wish, you know, I was doing this with someone that understands about pipe, like like they were next to me exactly right now so that I could be trying this with someone that knows what they are talking about. But just from watching YouTube videos, it's very hard to do this correctly because I feel like I'm not doing it right because it is going out super fast and I feel like I'm smoking it too fast. So maybe I need to be a little bit more chill. But I would say the aromas in my car right now are absolutely fantastic I okay I'm getting some smoke out of it I'm getting some smoke out of it and I'm definitely having such a nice taste in my mouth it's just like cherries with tobacco it's so nice it's also really nice to smoke something without inhaling it or maybe I need to blow into it so that look look what happens See, like, some smoke comes out. I have no idea what I'm doing. I really don't. I mean, I tried my... I, I watched tutorials so many times, like, her tutorial. I watched Jacob Jones, like, smoking a pipe. And I thought I had it together, you know. I was like, yeah, I can probably do this. Like, you know, I've watched it so many times. 
but now that I'm smoking it myself, it is super pleasant. I just don't think I should need to relight it so many times. And I wonder what I'm doing wrong, so I'm gonna leave it to you guys in the comments to tell me. Because I'm pretty sure there's some pipe experts in the comments, and so I will let you guys, you know, tell me like what is happening because I'm sure you're gonna be watching the video and you're gonna be like oh okay this is what she's doing wrong let me tell her in the comments so she can you know get it fixed so do do let me know like was the way that I lit it incorrect should I not have tempted it so much did I not temp it enough I really I see a number like there's a number going inside but it's not burning that much yeah, see? Like, I'm not getting anything. I mean, oh my god, I just wish I could get this lit up right, because the, sm the smell in here, the smell in my car right now, the flavor that I'm getting in my mouth, this is one of the best experiences I've ever had with smoking, and although I don't know how to do it properly, because it's not even working very well, like, I'm just having such a great time, you know? I just wish I could get more smoke out of it. Like, the flavor is insane. I wish I could describe it to you guys. It's like, um, it's almost like a Chesterfield type tobacco, but with a cherry hint, cherry flavor in there. I wonder if I'm smoking it too fast or if maybe I put too little tobacco in there because in these videos that I see of people trying pipe smoking they can get quite a lot of smoke out of the pipe and I'm not getting much smoke out of it only when I light it and so should I just let it simmer a little bit I'm gonna try that I'm gonna try to just let it simmer a little bit and see if anything lights by itself but I really don't know. I felt like I was prepared, like I told you guys, and it seems like I wasn't. But that's totally fine because you live and you learn, and I will learn, and it's gonna be fine. And I can just tell this is going to be one of my favorite ways of smoking, just because of how different it is from cigarettes, you know? I can still taste the tobacco, but I'm not smoking a cigarette. I'm smoking something else, and I feel like it's super interesting. Yeah, but I, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I really don't. I mean, I cannot get this to stay lit, you know? Oh my god, I was so confident. I'm actually feeling a little bit sad because I was really confident that I was going to be able to do this after everything that I've watched, you know? Is it because it's the first time I'm using this pipe and so something is not working because of that? I don't know, should I not be sticking it so much? I don't know, I'm using this stick thing and I'm just, you know, in there like super thing I mean it is super pleasant it is so nice like the flavor is like something I've never tried before I know I know what I think I'm doing wrong I think that the drag is too light because I saw in one of Jacob's videos that the drag of a pipe should be like a straw filled with water that you are like sucking on and this doesn't exactly feel like that, so I feel like I don't have it like enoughly packed. So let me see. Let me maybe pack it a little bit more and see how, how the drag is. Oh, that's better. Oh my god, do I need to just pack it a lot? Oh yeah, that's definitely better. Oh my god, maybe it was the way that I packed it. Oh my god, the flavor is so nice. It is burning my tongue a little bit though. Is that normal? I think I'm smoking it too fast. But I think I got it right. I think I got it right now. I mean, I still don't have much smoke coming out. But the drug definitely feels a lot more like a straw filled with water. Mm, I can't understand what I'm doing wrong and I'm getting a little bit sad with myself. I am. I am I had some expectations and I really thought I was ready to conquer the world of pipe smoke and turns out apparently I'm not I Don't know what I'm doing wrong. Why isn't it staying lit? I cannot understand I'm giving it enough oxygen I think because I keep poking it with that thing, but I'm also 
having a really nice like straw filled with water type of drag so everything should be in its right place and I just can't understand what's going wrong oh my god the flavor of it is insane like it is so good I wish there was a cigarette that tasted like this I feel like there's got to be something I'm doing that is putting out the embers that are currently going, you know? There has to be because, I don't know if you can look inside, but there's an ember currently going. Or maybe it isn't anymore, it just went out. So maybe I need to like poke it a little bit so it can go back to its job. Like, can you work, miss? If, the, if just one ember works. Do I need to blow on it I have no clue what I'm doing wrong and I'm very intrigued what it could be you know I'm gonna put all of this ash back in its place because the only time that I'm being able to get some smoke out of it is oh my god there's an ember going Guys, oh my god, I don't want to panic, but it's like, I mean, it was, oh my god, it's not anymore. It is like red inside, there's like embers. <gasps> I think I got it, I don't know what I did though, but there's like embers inside. Oh my god, it is so nice, I'm so proud of myself. Did I actually get it right? I mean, every time I take a hit, I can see that there's something red inside that's like going. Was I maybe not taking enough hits? No, I don't think so. I was think I think I was taking too many hits. So maybe I need to blow on it a little bit. So that some smoke comes out and then... Yeah, oh my god guys, there's like red inside. It's actively burning. I don't know what to do with myself. I'm so excited. I feel like maybe I got it right now, but now it's like almost over. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I thought this was going to be way easier and I don't want to celebrate too quickly because I think I still need to do a lot of work because I don't see embers burning anymore. But there's a little bit, like, there's like the tiniest bit of smoke coming out. Should I light it again or am I going to ruin it? I wish I was on like a call with you guys, like on Skype or something. And you could be telling me real time, do not do that, do this, do this. Oh my god, it tastes so nice. It feels so nice, it smells so nice. Screw cigarettes, I'm gonna become a pipe smoking girly. I'm I'm kidding, but this is just so pleasant. I don't know. Cigarettes are good because they give me a great buzz. This is like different because honestly I'm not feeling any buzz and I don't know if you, I should. I don't think it's packed enough anymore. I'm just so confused, damn. I haven't been this confused in ages, probably since I took like maths in university. I have a really hard time not understanding what's going on because I feel stupid, as one does. And so I'm feeling a little bit stupid right now, but it's fine, you know, you need to feel like this. There's like the tiniest bit of smoke and I just, I want a lot of smoke like these people on YouTube get, these pipe experts, girly tragedy, Jacob Jones, everyone gets like a lot of smoke and I'm not getting it and I need to practice more, probably. It is super nice, I just wish I could get this right. Because I truly, I truly don't understand what's going on. Maybe you guys are like, oh, this is really stupid, you just need to do this. I just have no clue what it is that I need to do, you know? There's like the tiniest bit of smoke coming out. I can taste it. It doesn't taste burnt, 
which I feel like it should because I'm smoking it super fast. So I'm just overall, I'm just confused. I have no clue what is going on. I'm having a great time though, like don't get me wrong, I just... Do I need to... Oh my god, I think that'll work. Do I need to actually get a lot of hits in a row? I'm gonna have some water because my tongue is burning a little bit. Is that normal? I feel like I've asked this already. Um, I was checking my tongue in the mirror. This is super, super, super nice. And I promise you guys, I'm gonna read all of these comments. I'm gonna be taking notes. And I'm gonna come back next time I try a pipe and I'm going to be able to do it perfectly. Today is my first try and so I mean it is to be expected that maybe it's a little bit goofy. I don't know, I hope I'm not disrespecting anyone in the piping community. I truly am very interested in trying pipe, you know, and I'm doing the best that I can and that I know. It just feels like there's something that I am missing that is probably something very simple and that I'm just not understanding that I need to do and I don't know what it is I mean I put three tobacco three times and I tempted it the way that girly tragedy said you should temp it and then I checked the drag I was a little bit late to check the drag but I eventually checked it I mean now there's there's smoke coming, but I don't know what I did this time that I didn't do the other times, you know, so It's quite confusing, but I feel like it's working better now than it did in the past like 20 minutes, so Oh my god, you guys Oh my god, there was- oh, I just unlocked the memory. I just unlocked such a great memory, so I have a story my grandma, she had this friend and he was a painter, an artist, but mostly focused on paintings. And I think he smoked pipe because, oh my god, now that I'm smoking this, like the image of, he, of my grandma's friend is just coming up in my mind because he always smelled like this. Wow, that's, that flavor is exquisite, man. I, wow, 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 I've never tasted anything like this. This is actually an insanely good flavor. I'm trying not to overreact because sometimes my reactions can be quite extreme. This is insane and this is unlocking memories from my childhood. I'm just feeling very emotional right now. I'm feeling so good. I feel like I finally got this right. Look, how should I hold it though? Should I hold it like this? All right, now I'm gonna focus on learning how to hold it. So. I saw some people holding it like this, and I saw some people holding it like this, and I don't know which is correct, I'm gonna say it's personal preference, but you pipe smokers let me know. I'm just having the best time of my life, I'm having so many memories from my childhood, I'm just feeling so great, this is just a nice flavor, I'm trying something new, I'm talking to you guys, I mean... Wow. Wow. I cannot even tell you how I feel right now. The only thing that I wish was better was that my tongue was not burning so much. And I don't understand why it's burning a little bit like on the tip. And I'm a little bit concerned about that. I'm gonna be honest, I'm a little bit concerned. I mean, it looks perfectly fine. It looks perfectly fine. So I don't know what's up with that, but oh my God, I'm, <sighs> I could cry right now. Also, should I take, you let me know in the comments, okay? Should I take one hit at a time, just like this? Or should I take like um, more hits, you know, like do it a couple times to get it going? Or is that something you just don't do? And let me know, because I truly don't know and I want to learn what is the correct way to do this. I'm not trying to be funny when I tell you guys that I don't know how to do this. I'm actually, I'm actually asking for help because Pipe smoking is something that for some reason I hold very dearly to my heart, like it was something that from the start I knew I wanted to try but I just never got the courage because I felt like it was something that was way beyond me, you know, something that wasn't achievable because I just don't know how to do it. But so the other day I gathered the courage to do it. Oh my god. 
and I got my first ever pipe which was this one and I talked to the man at the store and he was extremely nice to me he saw that I was not embarrassed is not the word I was scared that he was maybe gonna tell me oh pipe is for older people or for men I don't know I don't know why I think someone would say that to me and I think he saw that I was a little bit scared and he really tried to help me to get this pipe to get the correct um, tobacco It is feeling too airy now, but look, I haven't lit it in how long. It's been super, super long that I've had to light this. And so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to light it now. Let's see. There's barely anything going on inside. So, oh my God, it just smells so good. This smells like my childhood somehow. And if there's something that I can tell you, is that I don't remember. I don't have any memory of someone in my childhood holding a pipe or smoking a pipe or anything like that. There's not one memory of that. But this somehow smells like my childhood. How is that possible? Wow. I mean, this is just exquisite. I don't know what other word to use. If I was speaking in Portuguese, I would just be using so many different adjectives to describe this experience. I mean, I'm having, oh my god, it just tastes so nice, like, it tastes so nice, it smells so nice, it is so nice to hold something that is not a cigarette and still get my smoking experience. I'm not getting any buzz, but just the happiness and joy that I'm feeling right now of just being here and trying this for the first time, trying it with you guys, you know, seeing myself fail miser miserably at it and then come back and actually do something nice with it. This is just giving me... A sense of joy that no buzz could you know and I think that's that's beyond anything that I could ask for ah now another thing that I need to ask you guys should I leave the smoke in my mouth for a little bit so that I'm tr like actually tasting it or should I just let it blow it out immediately let me check let me try to keep it in my mouth a little bit Mmm, when you keep it in your mouth a little bit, you can taste it even better. I mean, of course, damn, that was not very smart of me, but I'm just, I'm having such a great time. I'm so emotional because this smells a lot like my childhood and I'm not understanding why I'm trying to unlock memories from people smoking pipes and I just cannot remember. Oops. I just inhaled a little bit. I know you're not supposed to inhale pipe. And as I was actually doing pretty pretty good before now. So I just inhaled a little bit. It was a little bit rough. So I see why people don't inhale it. Damn, this, this is so weird what I'm about to say. But this smells like home. And no one in my house ever used a pipe. I mean, I'm getting smoke out of it. Finally, I'm being able to do it by myself. I'm so excited. This smell, there's something about this smell. Just this smell is just so nostalgic to me and I'm I'm so happy about it. I don't know if I'm getting emotional because I'm getting some sort of relaxation or some buzz inside of my head that I cannot even recognize. This feels like a foreign experience and at the same time something that I've done all my life and I had never tried it before. I feel like I just want to close my eyes and lay back and I feel like I'm gonna dream of something that happened when I was a child. You know, when you are in a game, if you play video games and you play story games, that you need to get to a certain checkpoint for you to unlock a certain memory and then from then on the whole game changes because your character has this memory that it didn't have before that you can use from that point in the game forward I feel like that is happening to me right now like there's something there's something that my brain is unlocking with this flavor that I had to live my whole life up until this point to get this flavor and get this smell for me to unlock and it's just the most surreal feeling 
guys i promise i'm not smoking anything else than other than tobacco okay i understand that i may i may be sounding like i'm on some on some uh, weird um what do you say i don't even know man i'm so I, I don't even know what i am anymore i don't know what the words that i'm looking for are i'm just so filled with joy because i wanted to try this for such a long time i mean i don't know I understand that you guys cannot share the same excitement that I am feeling right now through the screen because it's just not possible because you are not here with me but I truly truly hope I was here with you guys and we could all be piping together and I don't know if that's even the word you use for it I just know that this is bringing me some joy that I was needing I haven't felt this sense of pure excitement and peace in a long time and I didn't even understand that until I have felt it just right now when I'm here with you guys trying this you know I mean I could not ask for anything else in life right now I really I am ha I feel like I'm having some sort of awakening and this is sort of strange for me to feel and I don't know if it stemmed from, stemmed from the pipe or from the smell I think it is the smell, the smell is doing something in my brain it's like unlocking some things and I'm just feeling very weird but in a good way it has such a nice and distinct flavor of cherry now I don't know I feel like this is called aromatic pipe tobacco because the aromatic is like the cherry I think but I think there's also pipe tobacco that is not aromatic that it's like more pure tobacco flavor I would say this is super sweet this is awesome it's sweet but it's also a little bit bitter which is interesting because they contrast each other I feel like this with a cup of coffee right now my life would be made i could die in that moment and i would die happily i mean i don't even know what to say to you guys anymore i'm having such a great time i'm so glad that i tried this i'm i'm just ecstatic i'm over the moon with happiness you know i know that i did a lot of things wrong obviously because it took me like 20 minutes to get it going so I really need some help from you guys in the comments if you are even still watching this video which I don't know if you are but if you are just know that I appreciate you so much first of all for keeping up with 30 minutes of me and then I need your help because I don't really know what I'm doing as you can tell like the aromas of it are so interesting and so different from anything else that I've ever tried before you know and so it's so strange because as I said this feels like something I've been doing for all of my life and it's at the same time something that today is the first time that I'm trying I think it's the smell like when I was a very very young child I used to go to my mo my grandma's friend's house as I was saying in the beginning and I'm pretty sure he smoked pipe because the house smelled like this like I cannot describe it any other way like his whole house just smelled like this pipe and it was a very pleasant smell like I didn't think honestly I don't think I think too much about it when I was a child I didn't think it was good or bad I was focused on something else other than the smell of his house I mean poor man you know I don't know man this is probably one of the greatest smoking experience I've ever had in my life it's just filling me up with joy and excitement and contentment and I'm so happy. Now, now I have it going. Now it's going pretty well, but it's also almost at the end. And I'm realizing that one pipe lasts a pretty long time, you know? It truly does a pretty it truly does last a pretty long time. So this is a very nice smoking experience for some example. For example, oh my god, I can't even speak anymore. When I'm wanting to smoke at sunset and I want to smoke from the start to the finish of the sunset, you know.
I'm really just confused. Now the thing that's confusing me the most is I don't understand if I should be taking one hit and like savor it and flavor it, which I'm really getting the flavor of it. It's really, really nice. But maybe I could get it better if I was just taking one hit and like really chilling with it. And then, you know, I don't really know how I'm supposed to do the heating thing. Oh my god, it just fully went out. So now I'm going to try. <clears throat> this was this was a life-changing experience. I'm gonna tell you that. I just went through so many emotions right now. I feel like I'm a new person and it's really weird to say that because of a pipe. But I feel like I'm going to use this tool, which has a hair, okay, to scoop out the tobacco, which is like ashes at the moment and I'm gonna use this to like clean it up and put it inside of my car ashtray yeah it's just a bunch of ashes at the moment and so I'm gonna just scoop it all out should you be doing this should I be doing this you're not doing anything um, yeah I think everything is like scooped out it looks pretty burnt to be honest so I think I burnt the tobacco so there's probably even a better flavor that I could be getting if I hadn't burned the tobacco so much but I was just taking so many hits at the beginning trying to light it up that it's only to be expected that I burnt it a little bit ah, but damn I'm so excited about this I'm so happy that I tried I'm definitely gonna keep trying my best to learn all things about the pipe and I I'm counting with your help as well so leave me notes in the comments I'm gonna write everything in my notebook and I'm gonna come back stronger and better and more efficient and at smoking the pipe all right so this has been a ride I don't even know what to say I'm feeling so joyful you know that is almost inhumane, inhumane the amount of joy that I'm feeling at the moment and so I don't know, I just hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you come back to watch more if you want to and I'll definitely be back very soon. So yeah, that's it guys. Bye, have a good one.